Lads, I'm gonna be completely real with all of you right now. The last three or four months of my life have been very difficult. A lot of you know, but of course, we moved to a completely new country, ready to train full time with the idea of bringing all of you along with me to inspire people to get out their comfort zone. Of course, a lot of you know by now, things didn't go to plan, accommodation issues, false promises, our previous club holding onto contracts. It generally did feel like everything was just going against me. And for the first time in a long time, I kind of felt like I'd lost purpose. Came back to the UK mid-season with no club. It took a while to even find anywhere. And I really was just feeling sorry for myself. And then I was able to kind of refocus, look back at everything that we'd been through, being released from Norwich as a professional player, suffering two ACL ligament injuries with countless surgeries and after looking through old videos and comments and realizing imagine after everything I've gone through if I'm still able to go crazy work as hard as I can the idea that someone out there would see this and find motivation and inspiration for themselves that felt like something I can dedicate and find purpose in So before we go any further, today's video is actually sponsored by Athletic Greens, more specifically my experience with their nutritional drink, AG1. Now first things first, I'm never ever in a million years going to be able to cook meals throughout a day that cover the amount of vitamins, minerals and whole food source superfoods, probiotics that are included within this one drink. AG1 is based on the latest science and it is a drink made for high performing athletes and individuals. Your gut health, immunity, your energy and endurance, brain health, recovery. I personally found the most benefit in just my recovering energy throughout days of training and weeks of training and also it just became part of my daily routine and within the first 20 minutes of waking up i'll drink ag1 and it'll kind of set me on the right path to have a productive day it doesn't taste like a million dollars but it doesn't taste bad either and i expected it to be a lot worse and for me for the three weeks that i've been drinking ag1 knowing as an athlete that you're taking every opportunity and doing everything you can to become better it's just like a mindset thing so click my link in the description to get a one year supply of immune supporting vitamin d3k2 and five travel packs free with your first purchase you can't put a price tag on your own health boys so thank you to athletic greens and ag1 for supporting my journey and sponsoring the channel oh base things boys i can't lie this 100k plaque obviously as some of you know the higgsy channel when i got this it just didn't feel real like this was about the time when i was injured with my acl i grew to 100k thousand like 100k subscribers within like three months i remember i just never treated this with the respect i'm gonna clean this plaque up proper hopefully one day we'll get it on this channel that would be so sick hello doggies yes me love you boy I just need my clothes. Ah, uh, anyway, we got the camel. We, we got our brushes. Lads. See, I got my shirt tucked in it. Yeah, you know them guys at the gym you see, and they have got their shirt tucked in. They are proper geezer fellas. And you know what? Every now and then, I'll tuck my shirt in like this before I go to gym, and I'll be like, "Today's the day. You're looking pretty big today, Uzi. You're gonna go in that gym and you keep this shirt tucked into your trousers." <sighs> but most of the time, well, actually, every single time, I've got to the entrance of the gym, step in that entrance of the gym, and I've gone, "Not today. We'll do it another day." We're pulling up to the gym pretty soon. Match day minus one. Let me know in the comment section things that you you do leading into a game, maybe a day before a game, to make you feel ready. I feel like everyone has that 
a few things in their head that they, they ha know that they have to do to feel fully prepped. For me, if I don't do this, if I don't go to the gym the day before, foam or stretch, little recovery day, then it's gonna be in the back of my head. And yesterday's session was actually a really good session for me. It was like short, sharp, a lot of small-sided games, sharp movements, a lot of 1v1s, which is great for me as an attacking player. So I've just gotta to get today right, make sure I'm eating right, and I'm definitely gonna feel good going into the game tomorrow, which is at home as well, on a nice AstroTurf. Yeah, let's get this session done, uh, and I'll take you along with me for the rest of the day, leading into match day tomorrow, so let's get it. Yes boys, so we're at the setup now. I don't want to just keep waffling to you because I feel like this video is just a lot of waffling. But we've just been editing the last hour and a half. I like to edit my videos into like brief timelines so I don't burn out doing the boring edits before I really work on all the music and all that type of stuff. We've got a little protein yogurt here which we're going to eat. Later on today we'll have a more carb based meal which will probably be like a tuna pasta or something along those lines. I've just messaged CP asking when he's on. We're going to throw up a stream. Just chill. But I'm probably now going to cut till tomorrow, the day of the game. I'm still excited. So that being said, people, I'll see you tomorrow. Bro, oh, it's kind of near me. It's in this building. So the last thing we needed to make this like build up to the match day complete is a trim. Not like the trim was getting a little bit dusty. Also, I'll be honest with you, I've been struggling with my trim. Obviously, I moved away from where I've been living for years and years, Norwich, my apartment in the city centre, to go to Spain. Now I'm back and still kind of waiting to decide where I want to go. And it's hard because, I don't know man, but you know everyone kind of has their guy or they have their the place that they go to and they entrust this individual or this establishment to provide a decent trim. I don't really have that. My, me and my barber, my go-to barber, if, for those that don't know, is my guy Oscar. I've known him for the longest time now and he's been doing absolute bits. He's like a mobile barber. Right now, me and him have got a long distance relationship and we all know about them ones there. It's tricky, it's tricky. And I'm, I miss you, Oscar, right? But I feel like today's trip actually ain't too bad. So lads, highlights time. Now I'm not going to waffle too much, but moving forward, I want to give you a more match day, non-league experience, taking some inspiration from a ton of YouTubers I've seen. The big taffers, the GOAT with a wireless mic, so you can hear what's going on in the game. I think that'll be interesting for non-league because it is a crazy place. The crowds, the facilities, the different places we're going to. I feel like it will just make, it'll be a really like sick series on the channel. And I think it'll, be, it'll also allow you to follow the team that I'm playing for, get to know some of the lads a bit better. But we'll see what happens. It also means that the highlights I put on the channel are just literally going to be whatever happens on the day. Instead of me picking from the last three games what I want to show you, uh, it's going to be whatever happens, good, bad, average. And this is the first highlights where you're going to see that. This isn't my best game by far. Like I could have chosen another highlights that was better, but... As I started recording and vlogging for this game, I told myself whatever happens, I'm going to post it because I want to start putting a bit more pressure on myself to uh, to play better. But anyway, highlights, here we go. There's going to be a little bit of like this buffering as, of course, I cut to the bits that I want to show you. But first play, get it on the left, try and turn him up. Little nutmeg and the cross just wasn't, wasn't it, to be fair. I think I was trying to be too technical with it. And I tried to pick out the back post, the other winger, but I should just put it in the air for Johnny, to be honest. I've really, like playing on the wing, one thing, especially on the left, I enjoy it a lot because I feel like I can be super, super effective. And I just feel like he's put more crosses in the box. Before I start waffling on, you can see me on the left. Now, as you can hear, the gaffers wants me to be direct which I definitely want to do it gets into a position where there's like three players in front of me and if it wasn't like me just trying to put my stamp on the game and show the fullback I'm going to be a problem then I probably would have just kept the ball and in the end I definitely wasn't creative enough with this opportunity you can see here see being really really 
critical. When I get to like here, like I just, it's just such a basic winger thing, just run down the line. And I don't even like fully burn my like I don't commit to it. When I get to like here, I could defo cut back and just start like playing with him a bit more, if you get what I'm saying. And you'll probably see for some highlights where I do that. But right here, it literally was just like, just run. And that touch wasn't the best. In the end, we do win something. But early on, they wanted me to run it. So that's what we got. Where does the ball? Okay, the ball breaks to me here and I'm just breaking into the space. I could have played it out to the right there, to be honest. And my pass to Johnny was a bit wide, but it was a good run. I think the ball comes to me again in the box and I get like a chance to shoot. Look, I'm here. There wasn't, it was hard for me to take that first time, but got a shot off of my left foot. Here's one of my corners. I think I go short. Milo is an absolute baller. Getting him on the edge like this, so dangerous. That's why it's hard to turn him down when you see it there, because he can score from there. So, like, ball comes back out to me. See, this is what I mean, man. Like, stuff like that, showing you guys, like, that's just poor, to be honest. The thing is, it was a good idea, and I didn't see the other centre back coming over. But he's he's already there, like, and I should be more aware. Like in terms of the touch and beating the fullback, which is I thought the only player I had to beat. Good. I don't know why I'm like stumbling over though. It just looks messy. But I thought that's it. I'm through. But the other centre back was coming over. So or whatever player that was, I'm not even sure. Fullback gets the ball, Hardy. Absolute baller as well. Ball comes to me. Oh, this is another one, man. It's just messy. It is just messy. I don't even want to go back and watch that. Should have played it. Okay, I'm going to because I don't want to be that guy here. I should have played it to Milo back foot so he can spin it. But as the longer I wait, look, it's just a simple pass there. I'm trying to be too technical with it and I thought I could spin him. And you'll see later on, I do, like, I do that quite a lot. That's why I was going for it, because I do spin fullbacks in that position quite a lot. Okay, this actually leads to the goal. Now, right here, you'll see me scan my shoulder and look for an area. Uh, and look for Johnny. So I scan there, and I'll see him. It's just a nice little chest. Sidewinder through. Tie with the absolute bad of Rudy's. It's a good finish, man. But I don't know what it is, like, with this group of this team, like, I do generally, like, the feeling of, like, winning games is, like, complete, it's just, like, on another level, because I do really, I don't want to say the words, because I want to, as a team, we, do we don't really say that, we just focus on, like, the next game, but I do really feel like we can push for, like, top six. Like, we definitely have a good enough squad, it's all about getting on, like, runs and winning. But one allowed, the ball comes to me here. It's another one of those, like, generally here, like, I, from the first occasion, I knew that I didn't want to, like, do the same, but th I didn't feel like there was literally anyone on. So in the end, I do use my body, turn him. This is what I was talking about with Johnny always drops in first, which is perfect for me. And then it's just poor. Ah, this is what I mean. It's such a meaty game for me, man. Like, this was, it was really good play here to play the one two of Johnny it's just that final bit man like my legs were like proper heavy here oh, I just want to go back just one more time boys just to sit, like, pause it like, it's just when I pause it as well it makes it worse like it's the first time I pause it there it makes me realise like how poor it was just a little pass in there, man. Like, that's not the one, even if I was to pass it. Oh, well. We move. I'm gutted as well. Do you know what? Oh. Oh, this is their goal, actually. The team we were playing, like, it's so weird. Apparently, someone told me they're full-time. Full of lots of young players. They went quite far in the FA Cups. They're, they're actually a really good team. Like, they try and pass the ball. Anyway, that's one all. Just showing you their goals. The ball comes to me here. I'm looking to come inside. I always like coming inside like that because it seems to open up the game. And even if, like, for example, just there, I play, I lay it off. It gets them moving and like the pitch are changing. 
The ball drops to me here. Oh, lads, it's so hard to see. The ball drops to me here, but it's I can't get my foot around it. Like I'm literally, I control it with my toe. Like, it looks like I could have just shot first time, but I was stretching so far to, to get that. And then I shoot and it's blocked. In the end, I think they start a counter. And I just trap back to stop it. This guy really thought he could burn me. If it was like a, a couple, a, like a few inches closer to me, I would have been able to get my foot around that. Anyway, ball comes up, just keeping possession. The ball probably comes to me here again. Look for Johnny. See again, like I'm, we're definitely getting better, me and Johnny, at linking up because now I know that he does drop in to begin with every time to look to bounce and then he'll spin. I definitely need to get more crosses in the box for him. But it's so good having that as a winger because you literally know you either look for the one-on-one -on -one or you just pass it and run like this. Right there, I know people were saying, like, why don't you just run across him? But if you look closely, like, he was... If I'd have done that, he would have been in front of me. So doing that was the kind of the only option. Other than squaring him up, but... Could have squared him up, probably. Get the ball on the left here. See there, I'm just looking to... Uh, wait for something to happen to move the game. To see if there's any obvious, like, players to combine with. There wasn't really, unless I went on like a mazy run, which I defo could have. This is one of my crosses, you can't see me. Just doesn't beat the first man. Second cross. Sorry, it's me like moving up the footage. Second cross. Good area. Oh. Close. Oh wait, the ball comes back out to me, or near me. Just trying to be a problem. Close him down. I'm quite annoyed with this because when I played quite a lot as a striker at last up and I feel like my hold up game got better. Right here I was trying to put my body in so I could just chest it down and control it. But to be fair, the lad does well. You can see he's just a little bit in front of me. So when I'm trying to get across him, he's kind of there. And I, do, I don't give him a free header, which is better than like doing nothing. But... As you can see there. And we are close to getting on the second, so. Not awful, but. Johnny holding it up well, gets it out to me. I looked to cut in, then shoot, but it wasn't on. I'm just trying to see, like, oh, maybe first time, but. I had a few of those this game where it's, like, so close to being, like, perfect to have a first time shot. And probably a goal. But we keep possession. Second half now. Ball comes to me. Just looking to keep it. Draw a foul. Paddy, by the way, what a player. To be fair, both fullbacks I actually love playing with. Both fullbacks are like class. Paddy's young and he's been playing really well. Hurley is just like so consistent and like good to play with. Again, you can see I got the ball a few times, but. No real opportunities for me to like cut inside, open the game up. But yeah, that is the highlights, boys. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm going to be posting a lot more moving forward. Let me know your thoughts down below. Again, this wasn't one of my best games. So posting this is just me being more transparent with all of you. But thank you all and I'll see you in the next one.